This one's, uh, this one's the current single. This is a very strange song because it started out as... Uh, I wrote this album uh, on the top of a mountain. Some of you probably know all this. And uh, it was very majestic at the top, very melancholy. We were very much on our own, completely isolated. And uh, for some reason, my mind went back to, uh, as, it, as it will, uh, those very sad periods in one's life. And, and one for me, of course, was in the late 60s when my father died. And uh, I, it, I just recall that at the time and subsequently with many friends who have passed away, I, I can't exclude the idea or banish the idea that they've sort of gone away on a, some kind of extended holiday. It's like my mind plays an infantile kind of trick and says, they'll be back. You know, you kind of have that feeling. And it takes an awful long time to kind of, I suppose it's you resign yourself. You can't resolve it, that they're not coming back. So anyway, that kind of prompted this song. It's not specifically about my father, um, but it is about that situation where you can't really believe that they've gone away, so you kind of adopt that holiday situation instead. I think that is really cheerful. <laughs> I just mentioned to Jonathan, and this is only, uh, I think, just pure coincidence, but it just struck me the other day. That it, as it's a single, it was released um, a couple of days ago, on the Monday, I suppose it was, which, of course, was the anniversary of Mark Boland's uh, death. So it just seemed, uh, like, totally weird. <laughs> But Mark probably planned it himself, because he is a very clever guy, Mark. Um, okay, so these are the friends missed and family missed. Um, this one's called Everyone Says Hi. We said you moved away happened all so quietly, they say. 